Trump Project Chronicle. She's got at least 394 subscribers and around 78,547 views. She could kick your ass in less time than it would take her to make a delicious mug of tea. It's Abigail Dufo. Greetings and salutations. So, today I got a request for to for me to show all of you hold up here um how to somewhat easily farm uh areas around lava because there are really good really good things that drop um from lava so or not from lava but like around lava you get diamond you get redstone you get lapis lazuli you get like especially diamonds are always really handy to have so um where are we here I'm going to make, in case we find obsidian, I'm going to make a diamond pickaxe. And we're going to hope to high heaven that we don't die. Alright, the bow. Yeah, I'll put the cobblestone away. I'll keep that. I don't need the hoe. Keep the iron. I'll grab all the iron possible. There's the gold. Oh, and cooked mutton. Excellent. Okay, we'll put the gold in here. Alright, so first things first. Oh, and of course it's night time. Alright, well, we're just gonna wait. And I'll just cut this out. Alright. It is pretty much daytime, so we will head there. So, the first thing you're gonna do is uh, equip your sword, because there be monsters and they be evil. The reason that we want uh, gravel is because gravel is not a self-supporting block and what I mean by self-supporting is I will show you if I place dirt up here it stays so it'll hold its own I can do that with cobblestone I can do that with uh, someone's shooting at me do that with cobblestone I can do it with stone I can do it with dirt I can do it with pretty much everything the only two items that that doesn't work in aside from liquid are sand and gravel. I hear something shooting at me, I swear. Okay, I'm losing my mind. Are sand and gravel. And you notice, notice that here. See, it falls. So, um, we want to use that for gravel, or for lava, because it will sink to the bottom. And then we can find, I need to turn this up a little bit so we can try and hear what's going on and we can try and find the uh, what should we call it the uh, bottom of the lava which will enable us to uh, search around it safely so we can try and find diamond we can try and find emerald uh, lots of stuff so so we have our little area of lava now this is scary because there are probably monsters around here. Anyway, so what you're going to do is you're going to form a one by a one block wide path all the way around the lava just to kind of get again, just get to get all the way around it. So, essentially, yeah, so we're going to keep going here. And you have to be very careful. I am armored, so I have a little bit of leeway when it comes to health for uh um, when it comes to, if I were to fall in, I, sh I would be okay for a little bit, like it's not ideal, but yeah, okay. So we're going to just farm a, like I said, a one by one block all the way around the lava. And sometimes it's huge and sometimes it's small. And like I said, I will be skipping a good amount of this, but I'll just keep doing this all the way around um, until I get a path all the way around. And then I will explain what to do next.
We have successfully cleared out all the way around this. Holy crap, that took me way too long. Anyway, so I'm going to essentially just give you the basic rundown. I'm not going to show you how you do the whole area. So we are going to cordon off. Well, this stuff has, this area has a lot of stuff. So we're going to do this area here. So you're going to get all of your gravel. Do I have another thing of gravel? I thought, oh, I must have thrown it out. Oops. Oh, well. All right, so we have enough gravel. That's not a big deal. Okay, so we're gonna just do this little area. Yeah, because it's got a lot of stuff. So you're gonna grab your gravel or sand, whichever, but like I said, I'm using gravel. And we're just gonna do that. And you're gonna let it sink until you can see the top of it. And it's gonna go all the way to the bottom until it can't go any further. see here we're about th anywhere between three and four from the bottom and eventually what you're gonna find is lava runs pretty deep so we're probably not gonna get much farther I'm just gonna mine this lapis lazuli oh, mine this lapis lazuli here um, we're probably not gonna get much uh, too far down because eventually we are gonna hit bedrock um, if you're watching closely through the fast forwarded section you will notice that we did come across some um, diamond and some cuttlefish and some obsidian as well and I, that will be for later videos but today all I'm going to show you is how to kind of essentially mine a lava successfully mine a lava pit now this is time consuming there are definitely other ways to do this this I just find it's repetitious so I kind of find it soothing um, yes I have a little bit of OCD um, but so you're just going to go until you hit the bottom and the reason we did the border is, I will explain in a second as soon as I get this last row done. Okay, so this is kind of like our line. We're not going to go any farther than this. Um, the reason we did the border is because eventually we're going to mine the top layer. And we know the top layer is safe because um, aside from where there meets lava, we know there isn't a hidden lava spot to the side of it. So we can mine this one safely because gravel, gravel, gravel cool so there's no lava so we're gonna get our shovel and we're gonna mine this and we can safely mine these so not a lot this is this is a process that takes a while but I find it's worth it and then you kind of just want to go in lines okay and then we're gonna grab my shovel and we're going to get two, which isn't a lot, but that's okay. And we'll do... Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. We'll do that. I had more gravel. I don't know what happened to it. I must have chucked it out by accident. Um, and then, if you are feeling... You go around the border of the lava. So, we know that if we mine this this and this okay so not much is actually safe here but we can safely mine this one because we know there's gravel gravel sinks to the bottom so we know that there is something underneath this one so we can safely mine all of these and, oh that was not clever okay and then we're going to fill this one up, and then we can safely mine this one. And you just kind of go back and forth. But the great thing about doing it like this is, well, for starters, we can mine this, and we can mine this, and we can mine this, and we can mine this, is, and then you eventually get to do the stuff in the middle that you couldn't get to earlier. The great thing about doing it like this is you get basically to the outer edges and around lava there will be redstone, there will be diamond, there will sometimes be emerald, um, lapis lazuli which again isn't very useful but redstone, gold, there's also off quite often a lot of gold, uh, redstone very often, uh, and diamond which you need for a lot of stuff that you want to build. Well that was useless, okay well we can do this. Oh, and that got me flint. Well, that's great. Okay, so anyway, that's essentially the gist of it. So let's keep going, I guess. So we know these are safe. We know 
these are safe. And we know these are safe. We don't know about these. I could check, but I'm lazy. So we'll fill that in, which means we know that this is safe. And we know that this is safe. And we just slowly fill these in. So again, not super ideal, but as you go, and if you have more stacks, obviously, then you can do this a little bit longer. Um, what can I safely mine? I can safely mine you and you. And we'll try and get good. Okay, so we can safely mine you, and then we'll just do this. And we can safely mine you. And I think, yeah, we can do that. All right, so you can see there's a little offshoot of lava here. It only goes this far, which is nice, but that doesn't really help us at the moment. But we can, we know that we can mine these. We also know that we can mine these. And see, now we're getting into stone. cobblestone down here because I need a way to get back up. So we've gone, we had none and we now have 16. So it's a start. And eventually you do get all of your you get all of your uh, gravel back. You'll leave. A, I tend to leave a little bit on the bottom just because I'm a little bit lazy. But all right, let's get rid of this guy. We yeah, have lava there, of course. All right, and we can ditch this. Oh boy, now that was see. I didn't look. So this had stone, which there could have been lava underneath it, which there was. So we'll do that. And let's well, let's fill this in. Start. We know this one is safe. So this is essentially it. And then what will happen is eventually you'll need to either go get more lava or whatever. But yeah, and see lots of lava. So they tend to kind of go out because it's skinny at the top and then it just kind of goes all the way up. So essentially this is what you do. And then so you see here we have redstone. And if you were watching as I went along all the edge, we came across diamond and obsidian and all of that. So, yeah, that's a thing. Um, so yeah, this is how I mine lava. You just kind of need something that sinks to the bottom so you don't you don't hit any surprises and you don't lose anything, especially when you come across diamond. Because diamond can be especially hard to find. But if you ever find a vein of lava, go back, stop whatever you were doing, essentially, especially if you're trying to find diamond. Go get a crap ton of gravel and sand and then just kind of go to town um the only downside is you will lose some gravel uh to flint which can be really annoying but you use flint to make a flint and steel which will net you um which will help you uh, create another portal which you'll need later so you only really need one. Oh, and you use flint for arrows too i guess so anyway that is it for today guys this is going to be a interesting video um but yeah so all you do find a thing of lava have a bunch of gravel or sand pick a small section and just go from there this one was ridiculously big usually they're you can find them quite smaller but yeah i would recommend if you see one this big like four or five stacks of gravel is probably not a bad idea and then eventually you're gonna just you're gonna lose some just for because of where it is and you're gonna be like oh i'm not gonna mind i'm not gonna shovel up that one piece just because so anyway yep that is it for today thank you so much for watching you know the deal like and subscribe if you feel so inclined have a beautiful day